I am going to merge two Moroccan recipes. One is for jumbo shrimp, and I have some beautiful big shrimp. And the other is for squid. We're going to make our dressing. Um, basically the shrimp and the squid will be fried fairly quickly on hot, hot pan and then dressed with the marinade which will include our preserved lemon. So the first thing we have to do is wash our preserved lemon. So we're going to take lemon out under cold water. We're going to rinse it. Make sure there's no pits. And since we're going to, since we are doing two different recipes and kind of putting them together for the first half, one recipe says preserved lemon. The other recipe says just the skin of the preserved lemon. And they're both in the same book. So I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. So in one, I'm going to take the insides out, and the other, I'm going to leave them in and just make sure there's no pits. And you want to rinse the salt off. I have used the preserved lemons before with the inside of the lemon intact with the fruit. So I don't think it's a big deal. Although most recipes do say to remove everything and just use the skin. So there we go. We have one of each. So we have one of each. And if you need to, you can top up your jar. But now that I've removed a couple of pieces of lemon, it's the level's fine. It was getting a bit low, but it's just fine now. So for our dressing, we've got the that is one whole lemon, two tablespoons of olive oil. Half a teaspoon of sugar, a teaspoon of oregano, and you can adjust the spices as much as you like. I've got a half a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of sweet paprika, or you could use smoked or hot, whichever you prefer, and a half quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric. Oh, the other ingredient in there, which I forgot to mention, is the juice of half a lemon. And if you want, there's also no salt in this, because as you remember, I did not remove the fruit from one of the lemon halves, the preserved lemon halves. So it's plenty salty on its own. And we will be seasoning the seafood before we cook it. I've cleaned our prawns and and scored our squid. Now, when you're scoring the squid, you want to do it so that you're not cutting all the way through, but leaving nice score marks so that it can cook and not be tough. Which is basically the whole plan. It's not as easy as it sounds. You need a really sharp knife and a really careful hand. Our prawns, I have <clears throat> so. so our prawns, I have left the head and tails on, removed the legs, the pokey bits on the head, and of course deveined them. The reason I left the head on is because there's a lot of lovely orange fat in there. 
or so one thing we still need to do is cut our squid because whole it's just gonna curl up and be nasty so what we are gonna do is cut it into strips let's see which way is the best way to do it this way There we go. And that way, we also can divide it between the plates much more easily. So we're going to heat up our pan and we're going to start cooking. It's time to start cooking our seafood. So we're going to add some, about two tablespoons of olive oil. A little less, depending on how big your pan is, how much seafood you're doing. A uh, warm pan, not overly hot. Then we're going to add about a heaping tablespoon of our dressing that we did. And four cloves of garlic, roughly chopped. We're going to close a minute, not less than a minute, just to get them good in. Now it's wonderful there. The whole deal is get your garlic smelling good and then add in your seafood. These are our prawns that we cleaned. And that one, yeah, the head did come off, so we'll just throw that aside. Okay. I'm going to saute these until they go nice and pink <laughs> get cooked through. And then we'll turn them. Okay, I've turned our shrimp over. Prawn, shrimp, whichever you want to call them. Um, and they're pretty much cooked through. So we're going to take them and just pour them onto a plate. With all. I am going to do something with the squid that isn't in the recipes. But what the heck, I'm not following them anyway. I have a tiny bit of saffron left. I am going to sprinkle it onto the squid. And saffron is a common spice in Morocco. So, and I love saffron. I've also done a long grain rice with saffron in it, so we'll have you know, a little bit of a tie-in between our fish, seafood, and the rice. You always want to tie things together. Our pan is hot now, and I did wipe it out, so I'm going to add just a little bit more olive oil. You don't want a whole lot, because we... We just want to like sear our squid. And actually it would be nice to use a brush to wipe it around. We just want the pan basically no stick. Then we're going to throw our, our squid pieces in.
these won't take very long at all. But we don't want them to cook overly long or they'll get tough. So this, this is a fairly thick squid body. It's not one of your little tiny calamari squid. So it will take a bit, a minute or two. I'm standing here looking at those prawns and going, oh please, I want to eat them now. They smell so good. Turn. Now, to finish our seafood, we're going to take our dressing and just pour that over the top and mix it. Mix it in there. This is one of the things you can do with your preserved lemons. It has turned out absolutely wonderful. And like I said, I mashed two recipes together and then completely ignored either of them. But it's wonderful. It's delicious. The recipe will be in the comments below. I always pin my recipes below. If you like the video, if you think you want to make the recipe, give it a thumbs up. If you do make the recipe, let me know how it turns out for you.